Virgo. Virgo, welcome. Virgo, let's do a general for you. Also, Virgo, remember to subscribe uh, because I don't always post on the same day for you guys. Uh, I may be traveling. I may just be really busy with work and then able to do the readings on those specific days. So sometimes they will shift. Uh, that said, if you like what you see, super duper. Thank you all for being here. Let's get started. Current energy. Current energy starts pointing to a commitment right away. So what is this commitment about for you? Ace of Cups. Ooh, new love. Ooh, very good. So as we're looking at this, we have the Ace of Cups, the Three of Wands, Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands. Ooh, a lot of action going on here. Interesting because we have the Three of Swords and the Two of Swords underneath the deck. So maybe something ended for you. But we see this commitment. So it looks like you have found somebody who you view as this Queen of Wands. And you're looking at creating this future together. And it seems, keep in mind, the energies are what we're after here. Masculine, feminine, doesn't really matter. That this Knight of Wands is like, hey, you know what? Let's, let's get it going on here because I like what I see. I see that there could be a future with you. Um, I almost see it because we have the Three of Wands, Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, that this is very fiery, very passionate. Um, lights the heart on fire. Ooh, this is the first time I've seen courage come out, especially in the desire. This looks very much like Leo energy. <clears throat> very bold. So why is courage here for you? The tower. Mm. King of Wands, Ten of Cups, Knave of Cups. So, as I'm looking at this, this very feels much like you're trying to muster the courage up to make things happen. The tower, it feels like, you know what? I'm going for broke. Um, it's an all or nothing situation. You see with this King of Wands... This is you kind of being, you know what? I'm going to do this. This is what I want. Uh, we see that the Ten of Cups is here. You want to create this commitment with this individual. But we see you coming in as the knave. So it's almost like you want to come in playful. Or at the same time, you want to put that offer out there. But you don't want to leave it hanging. This is sort of a surprise offer. Could be for this individual. But be careful coming in as a page of cups rather than um, <clears throat> as the king. The other part that I see here is that this could be an apology. So you know what? It's like I have nothing left to lose. Uh, and I'm just going to go forward. I'm. This is, you know, we've had a breakdown in this relationship. And... You know what? I'm willing to swallow my pride and go forward, but come forward and make this apology as this King of Wands. So I really like that. So what is the outcome for you? What is the outcome for Virgo, please? Freedom. Freedom has been showing up for a lot of signs. So why is freedom here? Four of Coins. The Emperor, Temperance, the Magician. So you do show up here. So freedom. Lovers is on the bottom of the deck. I don't know why I'm turning the deck over. I don't normally do this. Um, a four of coins. Protecting yourself. Not wanting to lose. Uh, there's a bit of ego here. But we also see that this freedom also is something that you're manifesting. So you feel um, you feel like you got it going on, but we see this protective, protective little bit, this four of, you don't want to lose this. And 
with temperance being here you're trying to make some compromises possibly around this to make sure that your needs are being met their needs are being met that there is you're sitting pretty <clears throat> and i see that you know if they come great if they go that's fine too so let's go into what's working for you nine of wands setting down your boundaries we have the world the three of coins and the ace of swords ace of swords so you're getting clear on what you want you're also setting down your boundaries this is making you more and more um respectable is the word that comes to mind but it's not the one that i'm thinking of some days my brain works other days it don't so we see this clarity that you start to gain and you start putting your you know kind of your foot down going hey this is you know this is what i want these are the things that i want this is the things that i'm after and there is success in doing this with the world card so what do you need to be aware of knight of swords knave of coins queen of coins three of swords so the three swords did show up very interesting With the Knight of Swords, this can be just, you know what, just taking action for the sake of taking action. Coming forward with learning, understanding that there is um, generosity that can be had and stability even though things fell apart. So, this is kind of convoluted. It's almost like you, the feeling that I get is first you're standing in this emperor power and then you start sliding backwards into this, you know, you've put your, your guard up, you've put your boundaries down and then you start sliding down from this knight to this page and yeah, it's, it's really weird. Let's pull three more cards around this, please. The hermit. And only you can really decide how this is affecting your situation. This seems really weird. We have the Hermit, uh, the Page of Wands, and the Hanged Man. So we see that there's this energy with you, Virgo, your own energy here, going, how do I, how do I come forward with this sort of information and in my intentions? at the same time of staying on my own path. So it kind of gets really confusing. It's it's like there's a lot of thinking that's going on with you, depending on how this outcome shakes around. But we have freedom. We have the hermit. And it kind of feels like you're free to choose what happens with this. Let's pull through. Financial health is one of the things. Fertility, peace, and travel. So, helping things grow, enjoying the peace that freedom brings, and also this financial health. So, we see that that's actually part of this as well. And maybe that this, uh, this sort of slide over here, where you start to come into this page and queen energy, it's kind of like, do I have enough to be attractive? <laughs> If somebody's interested more in your money rather than you. So that is what I have for you today, Virgo. Best of luck this week. Like I said, feel free to give this a thumbs up or thumbs down or leave me a comment in the section below. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.